HRV playing under the Friday night lights at Mount Hood Community College against Reynolds in a must-win game. And the Eagles off to a hot start with Dalton Frazier moving HRV down the field with a 55-55 yard catch on a screen pass, setting up Robert Wymore's touchdown run to give the Eagles first score of the game. Reynolds would answer with a field goal, but then it's Joe Garrig here hauling in a 27-yard pass from Sam Kopecki to extend the HRV lead with a diving catch. And then the HRV defense would not make things easy for Reynolds quarterback Kyle Shoemaker. Here it's Garrig picking him off to snuff out a Reynolds drive. And then it's going to be Jacob Bowens forcing a fumble on the blitz. And Jesse Scholl would pick it up and take it to the house for six more points. After a long kickoff, jump starts the next Reynolds possession. HRV stalls the drive again. Lucas Mondragon with the interception to stop that drive. And then it's going to be Sam Sean Baker with a pick six, and HRV has a 25 lead at halftime. That's when things start to get weird. Here, Kopecki's going to find Scholl for a long gain on HRV's first possession of the second half. But a first and goal turns into a fourth and 23 after HRV is penalized for wearing non-regulation gloves. Then it's going to be Kopecki's long pass trying to get Scholl in the end zone again, but it's going to be tipped away by a Reynolds defender. After Reynolds takes over, Shoemaker goes deep and finds Kyle Lane down the sideline. He beats a couple HRV defenders and goes into the end zone to cut into the gap. First possession of the next HRV drive. The Eagles fumble the ball right back to Reynolds. Then on fourth down, the Raiders pull a little trickery out of the playbook with a double pass, which is going to go for a touchdown, but that's going to be called back for an illegal forward lateral. No matter for the Raiders as HRV fumbles the ball right back to them. And Reynolds is back in business. Shoemaker going for the end zone here, and it's going to be a controversial non-call on offensive pass interference in the end zone. And then on the other side of the field, the Eagles are going to get called for pass interference. That will move Reynolds closer to the goal line. And then Shoemaker finds Daniel Walsh, and suddenly it's a two-score game. The next Eagle possession, Kopecki trying to finish the deal, going deep, but he's going to be intercepted. And the Raiders are right back in business again. However, a penalty on the run back backs them up all the way inside their five-yard line. Not a problem for Shoemaker. He's going to find Lane deep down the sidelines to put Reynolds right back in striking range. But Elliott Sherrill would pick him off on the next play. Robert Wymore would cash in for a touchdown, allowing the Eagles to take a knee and hold on for a 32-15 win.